gentleman with the power of diabetes at his control. I used to be a simple elementary school student, but then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick, we're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Ready? Let's go, sidekick. Kyle's this way. I'm pretty much like Bruce Banner. A loner, hoping to one day cure my diabetes, and yet knowing it means I'll no longer be able to fat crab. Fuck, bitch! Let's see how you like this! I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick! Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive! I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here! Hey, give me my keys! You are in no condition, sir! I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look! I'm fine. Okay? Give me my keys, please. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! You think I can dance with this? Let's go! Take care, sidekick. Even debilitated, this is a dangerous foe. I'm not just... Hey, I almost spilled my drink! I swear to God, I swear to God I can drive. Together, you you drive. I will not be. I can't believe I did that without falling. <laughs> get that sidekick. Ah. I'll get those keys right after this short little nap. Good night, Mr. Rush. I don't think people get diabetes because their mom started doing childbirth, do you? I, I feel like Coon made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. As you can see, sidekick, at nighttime, South Park is quite a different place. Yeehaw! That's a line, asshole! My diabetic rage will do just a trick. My guy's here, Coon. Yes, no one's sure. Savory characters and lots of boobies inside. Come on, let's go inside. Hey, beat it, kids. 21 and over only. Stand aside, citizen. It is I, Captain Diabetes. I must speak with the ladies inside. Get out of here before I fucking throw you out. What to do? If you're gonna talk, take it the fuck outside. I told you to get out of here. Hey, there's fucking sweet hot tits back there, and you're too young to see them, so fuck off. No one under 21 can see those hot fucking tits, all right? Get out. Look, everyone knows it's physically impossible to get past a red velvet rope, so just go away. All right, you fucking ask for it. God, God, God. No titties for you. Force our way in, sidekick. It seems we'll have to use our brains instead of our brawn. I have an idea. Oh, of course. Stand aside, sidekick. Really? Uh, moving? Well, don't freak out, sidekick. 
We're superheroes. We can handle this. One of these ladies has information about the missing cat. But who? There's only one thing we can do. We have to pick someone and take him to the VIP room. Find someone and meet me there. One taste of that spicy snatch and you're a goner. Next up is cinnamon. Not now, kid. I got like a quarter chub. I'm in deep cover, kid. What's the legal strip club age? I don't remember. Aren't you a little too young to be in here? You dancing in that short stuff? When's your set on the main stage, ma'am? Come back when you're 21 and I'll let you suck on my implants. Mm, you got balls, kid. Mm, you got balls, kid. You remind me of a young me. Hey, guy, kid. No luck, huh? That's okay. I found a couple guys. Remember you just play them off. Hey, you two girls ready to party? So this is your friend, huh? She's fucking hot as fuck. That's right. Wouldn't you like to take her to VIP? I don't know, she's kind of short. I like them short. You take the one with the speech impediment. Come on, get some dances. I was thinking we could just go in there and talk for a little while. Yeah, first we get dances, then we talk. Oh, okay. So, have you gentlemen ever had dances from a girl with a penis tattoo? Hey, we didn't come back here to talk, baby. Yeah, no talking until you finish grinding on our chubs. Oh, all right. Okay, sidekick, you know what this means. <sighs> Don't forget to bring a towel. Oh, come on, you're killing my buzz here. Jesus, uh, babe, you're sticking up the VIP room. Look, I'm not gonna pay for this. Oh, fuck! What kind of move was that? Uh, oh, great! Come on! Uh, oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, come on, you're killing my butt here. Oh, no! I'm not gonna pay for this. This is major sticking up in the IP room. Ugh. What the fuck? Oh, no, stop. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. Okay, chat time. Chat time? Aw, oh, man. So, what kind of work do you guys do? And have you ever danced with a girl here who has a penis tattoo? Why do you keep talking about a stripper with a penis tattoo? Yeah, yeah, Classy, that's her name. Her name is Classy? Yeah, Classy with an I and a little dick that hangs off the C which fucks the L out of the ASS. Of course, hence the tattoo. We have the name, new kid. Come on. What are you talking about? This is the worst VIP experience ever. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. You ain't going nowhere. Ha-ha! I am the ordinary stripper. I am Captain Diabetes. What? My sidekick and I simply used our powers of disguise to extract information from you. Hey, you won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes. Smelly old men, no refund. See the manager if you have any complaints about your lap dance experience at the Peppermint Hippo, gentlemen. Adieu. Great work, new kid. Now let's get back to the main floor. All right, guys, hope you're having a good night out there. Be sure to tip your waitresses and maybe buy a drink for the DJ. Next up on the main stage, we've got a little bit of hot sauce coming up your way. Let's give it up for Esmeralda. That's it. The DJ calls the bitches names, and then the bitches come out of that back room. Nukin, we need to find a way to distract the DJ. <gasps> I got it. Gin and Thomas always make my mom pass out. If we can make one and spike it with something really strong, he'll be out for sure. Go make that drink, sidekick. Okay, whose kids are you? Get back here before I get you in trouble. I think we've got the making of a real knockout drink. The DJ out of permission? makes me more angry than fight. It awakens the deep-seated rage that I harbor within me. I wish it didn't have to be farted, but that'll definitely take the DJ out long enough for us to call out classy. It's a gin and tonic, man. It's two ingredients. 
more are you looking at, half? All right, someone finally bought the DJ a drink. That's really nice of you. That went down really good. The DJ sure does appreciate it. Ugh. Oh, oh man, I think someone farted in my drink, guys. I'll be right back. Be sure to tip your winters. Great work, new kid. Wow. All right, guys, put your hands together. Be sure to tip your winters. These things are about to get a little bit hot and wasted. Please welcome Classic. Uh, that's right, guys. Let's get her on out here. That's Classy with an eye and a little dick that fucks the hell out of the ASS. Give it up for Classy. Hey, what you calling me out for? I ain't on stage yet. Wait a minute. You ain't the DJ. That must be her, new kid. Oh, shit. It's 5 -oh. Cops are here. After her. They after me, lady. Stop them. Nobody's allowed back here. Yeah, get lost. Stand aside, ladies. Captain Diabetes and his psychic need to question that stripper. You want to get to her? You're going to have to go through us. Bring it on. All right, guys, this is your DJ back from the bathroom. Looks like we've got a special treat for you tonight. The two assholes that farted in my drink are about to get fucked in the face by our very own lovely ladies. Straight from the Coca Cabana, you know who I mean. A big hand for our luscious Lola. Here comes our favorite flower of fellatio. Give it up for Fuchsia. Spicier in here, oh, that's why it's Esmeralda. Keep moving towards the exit, Jacket. For classy! Yeah, nice catch, fuck face. <laughs> Shit, that son of a bitch just broke my coat nail. Damn it, lady. What part of stop them ain't clean? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, lady, go take a ring shot. Let's get out of here. There's no reason for this to get ugly. And subbing in from the day shift, give it up for Blaze. Hey, can we turn the house lights down just a touch? We can't let her get away, Sidekick. Go on, Sidekick. Kick their ass. <laughs> Bitch, I was counting on you. I'll show you a VIP experience. <laughs> oh, shit. They still breathe. We gotta stop those tiny cops from catching classics. Uh, get them. Uh, Mama's mad now, sugar. Take him down, sidekick. She can smash a watermelon between her thighs. It's Anastasia. We've got to catch class. Down the hallway, sidekick. Quickly. Come and get me, boys. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah. Get that little fuck. I'm not responsible for what happened to 
Knock. Okay. Right, sidekick? Oh, you little bastards done fucked up. Go get him, Boote. Look out, ladies and gents. Here comes the queen of quippies, the mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's spontaneous Boote. Hey, honey. You ain't ready for this Boote. I'm gonna crush you in my booty cheeks. I'm gonna sit on you till your eyes pop out of your head, honey. Oh my god! No crunch is alive with the racket, but. If you run now, you may live to brag about this. I'm coming. Time, honey. I'm gonna go rest my bootay. Hey, let me in, you asshole. The cops are here. What? Get inside. Go on, scram. I ain't afraid to use this thing. Diabetic rage can't move this sign. <sighs> oh god. <sighs> it's too much. I need my insulin. I need my. Oh no. Oh god. I'm out of insulin. You gotta help me. I drank the apple juice, but I don't have any insulin. I'm going into diabetic shock. I'm, I'm dying. Oh god. Mom. Mom, I'm dying. Somebody, please. Please. <sighs> This is Coon checking in. How's it going for you guys? Everything cool over there? Cool. Keep me updated. You know what makes my fart super bad? Handcrafted text mix. Text mix. Not just any handcrafted text mix. It's gotta be something extra special. Special. You know what to do, new kid. Wow, 
Oh, your force can actually move objects in time. That's impressive. Now let's get back to that script. Who bridge? We found a female, but she's escaped to the Italian restaurant. Requesting backup. You heard him. All coon friends to the book of the Fagagini. And I said, you know what your problem is? You're an alcoholic. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I did. I said, I said, you can't even go a day without scotch, you lush. <laughs> I just don't get how these people can get high every night and feel like it's okay. Oh, I know. It's like clearly you're trying to run away from your problems. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're sticking a cat's ass in your face, you obviously aren't happy with your marriage. <laughs> yes, I think a lot of these druggies do what they do because they're in unhappy relationships. <laughs> they probably get high because they feel trapped somehow with their spouse. That must feel horrible. There they are. Where's the girl? She was just here. You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy sinking our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. Hold on, sidekick. Sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One, two, Diamini! <laughs> See, I told you the cops were chasing me. And you led them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who are you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? That gig is up, classy. These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. But that is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah! What the? I want my keys! I don't have your keys, man. Ah! Ah! Wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. now. Holy fuck, what did you guys do to rage him out so bad? Just oh. doing my duty. Uh-uh, that's not fair. Y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people turns and shit. Step aside. All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There, nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes watch. Look, all I know is there's a kingpin trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the street. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? Oh, that Cass? Okay, that's his little Asian freak name, Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman. 
Do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Boca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick. There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now. Who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Oh man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king.